Hey everyone, how is everyone doing on this amazing Sunday night as we speak? Well, the universe has been here. It will always be here, regardless of whether we have this planet or not. I mean, uh, <laughs> what am I starting my uh, podcast with? I guess, you know, I guess I just get sick and sick. <laughs> I just get sick and tired when people tell me, you know, that, oh man, you should realize that there is a mysterious force in the universe. No. No, sir, ma'am. There is no mysterious force. There is there's, there's nothing out there. You want to ask me? No. There is no such thing as mysterious force. Except dark matter, dark energy. Yeah, that's a mysterious force. Sort of. Because we haven't been able to figure out how to see it because the light does not detect it. No. So the dark matter is, uh, it's a matter. How the fuck do you know it's a matter? If you can't detect it, through light, right? So, for example, if you want to see something, you ought to shine the goddamn light, right? Any light, doesn't matter, right? See all the lights I have here? So, then, the question is, why do we have the dark matter in the universe? Which comprises... For all of you, if you do or if you don't know anything about astronomy, where we are in Milky Way, where our planet is in Milky Way, right? Well, we know where we are in Milky Way, but then how the fuck do we know that? <coughs> well, uh, I'm doing my podcast on this Sunday. Sunday, March 26th, 2023, everyone. Well, I'm assuming and presuming that your uh, weekend uh, was amazing. Let's just say amazing. Amazing weekend, you know, without Corona. The only thing I'm drinking is a Corona. Well, let's not talk about Corona, sir. I think, I think that goddamn virus is gone. It's over. We're over. It's like the Spanish flu of 1918, right? However, uh, What I want to talk about is this mysterious force in the universe. Right? People talk about, oh, there's God, there is uh, some sort of a force that binds us all. Yeah, well, that force is uh, some sort of an alien uh input into this world, I think. And that input is that 
you know somebody had to basically discover something right so that's why the alien said of oh, yeah let's 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 play this let's play with these human beings how far they can survive how far what they can do and whether they discover us the aliens right the real aliens well here's the thing the aliens are not watching over us like for example oh oh i mean are you going to be watching over like a colony of ants or those a uh, colony of whatever right colony of uh wolves or, or sheep or whatever right wild animals yeah you may watch them just to protect them to make sure that you know they survive and thrive and this and that right but then he got better things you got you got other things to worry about in this life that you are in right so what the hell then the aliens are doing if they are not watching over us right what kind of better things you think they are doing well that's the mystery right i mean are they in that goddamn dark matter dark energy in that fucking dimension which we cannot see because the light cannot detect it well Well, I got news for you, everyone. If you can't detect it, means it's some sort of a goddamn mystery, right? Dark matter. Let's find out, because I don't want to give you the wrong information and then get kicked out of goddamn uh youtube right well not kicked out but you get my point right the point is that dark matter is a hyp hypothetical form of matter so dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter thought to account for approximately 85 percent of the matter in the goddamn universe 85 percent now listen to this dark matter is called dark because it does not appear to interact with electromagnetic field means no electricity and so even though we could not see it with light there are ways to detect matter which is uh you know electromagnetic radiation right i mean anything that exists anything that exists in this universe a a matter you know any matter which has atoms and molecules and all that right everything manifest itself manifest itself and then we can detect it right but the question is what the hell is dark matter if 85 percent of the universe is dark matter which can which we cannot detect for fuck's sake is that where we we go when we die is that where the souls are? Is that where the aliens are? Is that where goddamn heaven and hell is? Why well, am a fucking idea? But just sticking with the topic right for a second. So if 
I were some alien kid, right? Which I don't believe that this universe is a simulation. Uh, it could be, but I'm just giving you a scenario. And the scenario is that if I were simulating this universe as a simulation on a computer, you know, one of my alien computers, right? God damn it. Give it the parameters and this and that, right? Blah, blah, blah. Do you think I would actually give all the manifestation? I mean, do you think I will give access of everything in this universe to all the beings in this universe? No, I don't think so. Means, means, I mean, you know, for now we are the beings here, right? Because we don't know any of the goddamn beings. So, the question then becomes, why would an alien species in this whole universe Are an alien species sitting outside this universe, right? This matter, this matter, and you know whatever. Let's just say that they are actually in the dark matter, right? So it's like we have this piece of like, you know, piece of paper or this, you know, paper towel, right? We have this here, but we can't see it, we can't detect it, but we can do the calculation to say, that, oh, oh, shit, it's here. Yeah. We know that of that as a fact. And, yeah, I mean, we know that as a fact because we ran the calculations and, yeah, dark matter is there because we have to have the dark matter otherwise. The force of gravity is too weak. Am I going to sound like a goddamn astro astronomer, astrophysicist tonight? No, I don't want to. And I'm not an astrophysicist, I'm not an astronomer, but the possibility of what the hell dark matter is, is, I think, is uh, something, it's some sort of a matter that we cannot detect. Means like, okay, what the fuck does that even mean? So if I'm in my ship, right, let's say I'm in my goddamn ship, and I'm flying through whatever, like 15 degrees northeast of fucking Milky Way or whatever, right? I am, right? Sounds like those streets in Washington, D.C., northeast, northwest. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. doesn't matter, right? So, and I'm blowing my fucking ship, right, ahead. And then I realize then I'm actually fucking moving through fucking dark matter. Somehow I get a beep on the screen that, oh, wait, 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 we got something, but we can't see it. Is that dark matter? Is that how it is? Well, if that's the case, then, well, we are the fucking dark matter. If 85% of the universe is dark matter, then it's here, it's everywhere, it's fucking everywhere. So that's where, that's where the mystery is, right? Dark matter is the mystery. And, and, and,
and I know from watching what's his name's show, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson's show, at the American Museum of Natural History in New York, right? They have a planetarium. So if you look not in the planetarium, sir. If you look at the show, if when you watch the show, what happens? You see why we have this dark matter, what does it do? Well, the dark matter, what it does is that if, for example, you want to hold two things together in the goddamn universe, right? How do you do that? Like, for example, ours, our planet Earth, this is a goddamn rock, right, that actually revolves around sun, right? 365 days, right? Nights and days, 365 nights and days, sir. So what does that mean? Like, it means that that well, I mean, we are dark matter. So it means that we are part of the dark matter. Like 85% of the universe. 80 fucking 5% of the universe is dark matter. Jesus Christ. So whatever you see, whatever we detect, right? Galaxies, stars, goddamn, Alpha Centauri, whatever, right? Proxima B, right? All this, including our planet Earth, including my body, is just 15%. Jesus fucking Christ. So that means that, that, that the 85% is some fucking mystery. All right? So what is that fucking 85%? Well, the 85% is where all the goddamn criminals, when they die, that's where they go, right? <laughs> well, it sounds like Australia, when the Brits took over Australia, weren't they sending all the goddamn criminals to Australia? Yeah. Australia is where I should go, man. Australia is beautiful. It's like, yeah. I don't want to go anywhere without my wife. What are you, so de too dependent on, her, on your wife, man? Well, maybe. What's harm? What's the harm in being dependent on your wife, huh? <clears throat> it's not being dependent on her, sir. It's... Being partners in life, okay? Partners in life, ever heard about that? So, yeah, I miss my wife. I do. You got a loved one? You got a loud one. Then it sucks not to be with her or with him. I'm not going to go into gender discussion here. All right? So. I went from, I'm sorry, I apologize. I went from. You know, dark matter to missing my wife. Is that why I'm discussing dark matter? Because I have nothing else to talk about? Well, I don't usually have any agendas for my podcast, as you all know. No agendas. No. Everything is open for discussion. Right? Anything and everything. 
So, what is up for discussion? Besides dark matter, sir. Well, you know, one thing I want to say, and that's I think that's very important for every one of you, and I'm, I'm not trying to be a preacher here. You know, do not live fake lives. Do not ever live fake lives. You know, do not hide. Why are you hiding? What's the fucking, you know? And, and the reason I'm saying that is because uh, some people just can't do it. You know, some people can just do it, man. You know. Especially in relationships, you know. You know, after all, we are human beings, right? I understand this is not a perfect world. But man, our woman, whatever gender you are, if you're suffering in your relationship, all right? I understand. It's not easy to get out of it. But if you're suffering so bad that you need to get out of it, you should get out of it. Yeah. A relationship, a partnership is the two have to be together, right? So if they're not, whatever. For, I don't know. I think I just sound like a preacher. How did I go from, like, discussing dark matter to relationships, sir? Well, we live a human life on this planet, all right? The problem is, again, the problem is that if you're trying to live another life, other than a human life, that's going to fuck you up. And the reason I'm saying that is... Because I've done that. I've, I've tried, like, oh, man, this yeah, I'm not a human. I'm a fucking alien, you know? No, you're not. You are born here, raised on this goddamn planet. You're not a fucking alien, all right? The only way you can be an alien is you come from another fucking planet, all right? That's it. That's it. And that's not possible. That's not possible. That's impossible for any, even any advanced civilization on this goddamn universe, you know, even our Milky Way. There's no way that anyone can get here. I'm telling you. Impossible. That's why there are no aliens here. Some people claim to be gods. Some people claim to be prophets. Some other people claim to be whatever, gurus, right, sadhus. Welcome to my world. How about that? No. You were born on this goddamn planet. And so don't tell me you are some sort of another, like, being from another universe and you just took that fucking human form. No, that's impossible, sir. That's not how this universe, universe works. There are laws. There are rules. Said by who, sir? Well, you know how truth is, you know how truth is bitter? 
truth is bitter. Truth is always bitter. But you got to take the bite, you know. You got to bite on it. And that's why. That's why we have to live a human life. Do not say that you are some fucking, like, you know, like, you know, I know for a fact that there's something else beyond. There's something that's, I know this, I know that prophet. I know, I mean, I know, like, everything. No. Anyone, I think, anyone who claims something like that, even, even somebody, you see, see, this is, this is the whole thing. This is the whole goddamn thing about this universe. The reason why we believe in things is because is because uh, we've been taught, we've been taught to believe. We have been programmed to believe in things. All right? Yeah. Some are extremely like, what do you call, uh, benevolent, you know, sort of like, you know, benevolence, yeah, benevolence towards humans, benevolence towards, you know, you give what you can, right? I understand that part. But here's my problem with that, even. That becomes an agenda. That becomes an agenda, I mean. Mother Teresa, do not be Mother Teresa. It's no point. There's no point in being Mother Teresa or... No. No. I have actually... I have stopped a long time fucking time ago to be a messiah no 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 nobody's a messiah on this goddamn planet everybody has an agenda all right and the agenda is whatever makes you feel better is the agenda all right so if you're telling me that there is some mysterious force in the universe that's there to take care of all of us I don't think so that mysterious force mysterious force could be the dark matter dark energy whatever you call it but it's not here to take care of us. No. No. It's here. It's here with that agenda. Like this universe. Okay. You all wonder, right? And I do too. And I mean, I know the answers. To all, most of these questions, if you ask me, right? Why are we alone? Yeah, we are alone because of the distances. Yeah, you get that point, right? But then the question is why and who set the distances? Well, you can say, oh, you know, Earth just started by itself and it just, that's how it just became, came into being, right? But then what the fuck the universe comes from? You tell me there is some sort of a force behind everything. Well, 
Where does that force come from? See that? See that? See that, right? Okay, so I'm not trying to pull you into a black hole, all right? But the universe actually is a black hole. Literally. Yeah. It's not a rabbit hole, it's a black hole. Literally, it's like you get into these discussions in your thoughts and then you realize, oh, fuck. That's why you got to layer where you want to be. You got to have a layer. So a layer of what you think based on the facts, based on the theories, based on astronomy, not goddamn astrology, based on astronomy and based on all that, right? You got to say, you got to say, to tell yourself, oh, this is where I think there is some mysterious force. I understand that part. Right? Uh, those could be the fucking aliens, right? Yeah, exactly. So those could be the fucking aliens. And and how now, this is the loaded question. <coughs> And I don't think it's a loaded question, actually. If, if there's dark matter, if there's dark matter which is not detectable by light or by whatever other means, right? It doesn't, it doesn't reflect electromagnetic waves. Is that why we can't see it? We can't detect it. But it's there. It's fucking there. 85% of it is fucking dark matter oh then you're gonna say oh you know what we don't care about the fucking dark matter because we are under the goddamn sunshine right yeah sunshine well I got news for you there are dead dark matter is what's controlling us you see that yeah so the dark, the dark matter, I think, is not, not, no, 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 not controlling us. But that dark matter is, is basically holding us like together. You know what I mean? So, question then is, why? Why do you have a dark matter that we cannot see? Well, there's a reason for that, and I'm pretty sure, I mean, you know, in a layman's term, in a layman's term, the reason for dark matter is that if we didn't have dark matter, then all of our planets and our, you know, objects, you know, extraterrestrial objects, and you know, would go haywire, fucking haywire, all right? means... Our planet probably would also just go fucking haywire somewhere else. Can you imagine, human beings, can you imagine your planet going haywire away from this star? Your star? No. You cannot imagine that because that's the death of this goddamn planet, right? So what holds this universe together? Is the dark matter. See that? Yeah. Not the sunshine. No. Sunshine is just what you're looking at. But the dark matter is what holds us together. Now, why am I talking about fucking dark matter? Because I think... The reason why whoever simulated this universe, they brought dark matter into this because that was the only way to hold objects. Not through gravity, no. Gravity is a weak force, all right? So that's why uh, there's, that's the mysterious force. 
The dark matter is the mysterious force that holds this whole fucking universe together. And philosophically, I think I can explain what dark matter is, to be honest with you. I mean, okay, you want to, you want to find out what dark matter is? I think to to explain what dark matter is, you have to understand matter itself. And what is that, sir? Well, what is matter? It's made of atoms and molecules, and then at the heart of the atom is the fucking nucleus, right? No, not nucleus, sir. Whatever. You get my point, right? Electrons, protons, whatever, right? Nucleus. What's inside the fucking nucleus? Yeah, there are some other particles. And what's in there, too? Huh? What's in there? Nothingness. See? Yes. Yeah. See that? That's the dark matter. Yeah. That's the nothingness is the dark matter. And that nothingness actually holds everything together, including, obviously, our planets, right, in the galaxy and whatever the fuck. I don't care about the galaxy. I mean, you know, I care about this planet, obviously, and you all should too. I'm not talking about caring about the planet in environmental and all that bullshit. Huh. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. This planet doesn't care about you. Why are you caring about this goddamn planet? It's gonna throw you out in the fucking universe if it sh sh deems necessary. Right? So that's how it works. I'm talking about how how matter comes into existence is where dark matter is. Matter comes into existence from nothingness. Can you believe that? Nothingness. And so, if you think that that there's some mysterious force that holds everything together in this universe, that's the dark matter. Yeah. It cannot be detected because it's in the nothingness. The heart of everything is nothingness. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we can't detect it. All right? So, uh, <coughs> uh, what does that even fucking mean? You know, if you think about it, like, okay, if the dark matter is the nothingness which brings matter into existence, right? What is it? Like, for example, when I say, oh, I know that you know, at the heart of the atom, at the heart of the electron, I know for a fact that, you know, there is some fucking something in there. But there's nothing in there. Because you can just go down this goddamn rabbit hole. I'm not saying it's not a rabbit hole. It's a fucking black hole. The universe is a fucking black hole. That's what it is. All right. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I mean, intellectually speaking, it's a fucking black hole. And, <clears throat> and, um, and speaking of, again, dark matter is that why does it want to be discovered? And why? Why? I mean, yeah, I'm here to, like, make sure you all survive on this fucking, you know, plan of existence, right? 
reality of existence. So why the fuck do you want me to tell you who I am? I think that's what dark matter says, that you have to discover me. You can't discover me through instruments. Excuse me. You can discover me through something else, which is uh, common sense. No. It's not, even, it's not even common sense because the problem with common sense here is that I think I, I'm, I think I already lost like many of you here. You know, I already lost like many of you here with the common sense. Common sense doesn't work when it comes to things like dark matter. God damn it. Yeah. And why common sense doesn't matter when it comes to dark matter, sir, because, hey, I'm just someone who's trying to fucking understand this goddamn universe for what it is. And I think this universe is just mysterious is the mysterious universe who said that Carl Sagan probably he said that right the universe is mysterious but then what Einstein said oh there's God and he was not playing chess god damn it maybe I should be the next Beethoven well, I can't be, sir. You can't even play an instrument, right? I can't even play an instrument, so how can I be a musician? To play an instrument, you have to put the effort. No, 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 not the effort, sir. There's something else about the instruments that you can... I don't have that in me. Yeah, I, I love the music. No, I mean, who doesn't, right? I love the music, and who doesn't? So, Vangelis, remember Vangelis? The Greek guy who composed the soundtrack for Blade Runner. Yeah, Vangelis, remember his, he has a, he has a track called Conquering the heaven, is that what it is? Or something like that. Taking over the heaven. heaven. Uh, Vangelis, best tracks. Vangelis, best tracks. Best tracks, right? I mean, these Greeks, obviously, you know, we are we live in a Greek world, you have to understand that, right? All of our scientific symbols are Greek. So our world is Greek, all right? I'm not saying that uh, I'm not saying that the Greek is a you know Greece is a place to live. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that is that the uh, the world is Greek. Our scientific world at least is Greek. all right? It's a Greek world. I don't believe in fucking Zeus. There's no Zeus. There's no fucking whatever. It's all fucking bullshit. All right? Those are fucking stories that your your, your grandfather told you when you were fucking young. Yeah. Yeah, those, those fucking stories are just fucking stories. Zeus and the fucking... Who else, who else is in the fucking Greek mythology, dude? Jesus fucking Christ. That's why I think Alexander came and he said, fuck all of you. Fuck all of you, you fucking people with out of your fucking mind. You know, you believe in something when it doesn't exist. That's what Alexander said. He said, fuck all of you. 
That's what he said. He told his own fucking people. He said, fuck all of you because you are all fucking psychotic. And I think they are. I think, yeah, I think they were. You know why? Because what kind of a fucking, like, story is this? Like, I believe in Aristotle, right? I believe, yeah, I mean, I believe in the people who actually were trying to do something for the humanity, right? Not the humanity, sir. Who were trying to, like, help people, all right? But all these fucking other mysteries are there. just fucking bullshit. Jews came from the fucking heaven. Oh, what's the other guy? Jesus fucking Christ. That's why Alexander said, fuck you all. You fucking psychotic people in New York City. Well, New York City has a lot of psychotic people too. But, and he said, fuck all of you. This is a fucking bullshit, you know? So, uh, Evangelist, hold on a second, Evangelist conquering. Concurring heaven. Heaven. Conquest. Okay, so conquest of paradise. Here we go. So Vangelis has a trick. It's called conquest of paradise. All right. So this is all goddamn Greek. So I can't even... I can't even like translate to English. Okay, let me translate this to English because conquest of paradise. Okay. What the god damn it? What is it? In Norani for Ipe. In Norani Kora. Throw mines for Ito. It dominates. In Nurani for Ipe, in Nurani Kora. Throw mines for Ito. It dominates. Is that what it is? This guy must have been out of his fucking mind too, looks like. Evangelist. Well, he's dead, so. Um. Uh, evangelists, right? Evangelists who actually, you know, this is what it is. Right? Evangelist has a trick, and it's one of the best tricks. And you know, these these Pakistani dramas, they use that in their like dramas. You know, that's like uh, plagiarism. Yeah, plagiarism. One of those, right? All copyrights, right? And I thought that trick was like was like the local like you know Pakistani musicians came up with oh my god Jesus Christ you think the world is fake yeah yeah the world is goddamn fake because people can fake you right this is what it is man why are you living a fake life right No, you shouldn't live a fake life just because of the fucking world. What tells you, right? Oh, oh, shit. No, no. You live a life the way you want to live without faking it. See? That's the first principle. If you want to live a human life, If you want to live a human life in its true essence, which I'm not, because sometimes I fake things, you know. Like I'm sleeping. Well, I'm not saying. Oh, what I'm saying is that, especially, I mean, it's the life is just cruel. Life, like to come to this planet. It's a suffering in itself, to be honest with you. You know, 
oh, you know, oh, don't listen to these fucking people who tell you, oh, you know, oh, 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 your life is good, man. Why are you suffering? Well, you have no fucking idea about my life. All right? So don't fucking tell me why I'm suffering. All right? I'm not, well, yeah, I'm suffering, sort of, because I want to be with my wife. Right? Yeah, that, that's a suffering. That's a suffering. You know? And so, the question is, um, where the hell I was going with this whole goddamn discussion? Did I lose a chain of my goddamn thoughts? I'm sorry, I apologize. But, I think, I think people who, people who sort of like, believe in, like, sort of like, you know, uh, what do you call, believe in something that's, um, um, um no. No. The only thing that, that actually makes you kind of like, you know, like, I'm not talking about like a military kind of a, like a fucking lifestyle, but yeah. Yeah, sometimes you have to live like that because otherwise you're going to go off the fucking chart. You know? So, that's why it, it's extremely important that you, uh, you stay on the fucking track. You know? That's why, yeah, I understand. I understand the whole like fucking idea of like you know oh yeah you know I got the whole idea of like for example like be part of a group right yeah the whole gives you some sort of a structure some sort of a structure you know well a group other than where you were born a group other than your family a group other than you were, I don't know, ex-colleagues, you were friends? No. I don't believe in any of those other groups. No. Because those are all... Society's made-up groups. We want to be part of it, like a. Uh, we want to be part of like a like a. Uh, I don't know what group like, you know. I want to play fucking golf, you know. Yeah, that's a good group to actually be, you know. Playing golf, yeah. Uh, but. But, guess I here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing, and I said this many times before, is that why, why do you have to suffer? Well, here, here, here I'm not, okay, yeah, maybe I'm suffering, but what I'm saying is that to come to this world is a suffering in itself, yeah. You don't understand that regardless of like how fucking beautiful you are, how wealthy you are, and how whatever the fuck you are, right? It's a suffering to live. You know, this 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 life. Because the body is a suffering. See that? Bodies are suffering, so, and I'm not my body. Yeah, well, I'm my body because that's how I carry myself. But, 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 but do I, am I my body? I don't think so. See, there's the termite and the butterfly question, right? Yeah, no. This is the termite, and I'm the butterfly. See that? There you go. So, so, 
whatever these goddamn aliens, whatever this dark matter is doing to us or holding us together, you know. And 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 the truth of the fact, fact of the truth, or whatever the, f you get my point. The point I'm trying to make is that if if this dark matter is what's actually the universe. Well, it should be, right? Because 85%. So it is the universe, right? Well, you're the dominant person in the whole fucking neighborhood, right? Then then if you are 85%, sir, I mean, what am I? A 15%? I'm a minority. What is it? What is it, human beings? <clears throat> Did I not say? Explain. That's the nothingness. We come from nothingness. Nothingness. Absolute nothingness. These scientists, these astrophysicists, they'll tell you, oh, there's an atom, and then there's an electron. What the fuck is inside the electron? Oh, they'll tell you, oh, there's another something else in there. What the fuck is in there, too? See that? It's nothingness. Yeah. Absolute nothingness. So, like, you know, my body is like, yeah, I have these goddamn cells in my body, right? But what's inside? It's nothingness. Can you believe that? Well, here's another thought. All right? Think about this. If my body is basically just cells and electrons and all that goddamn bullshit, right? So, who am I? Yeah, I'm the essence of my body. I'm the essence of my body, but I'm not my body. See that? So, that's the key to living and also thinking that, yeah, man, am I going to be the first butterfly to actually come out of the termite? I have no idea. And say, yeah, fuck this. I, I don't want to, like, this is it for me, sir. Well, I mean, is that isn't that what happens when people grow old and you know it's like, yeah, I'm done with this fucking body, anyways. You know, why am I suffering? You know, this and all that, right? Well, whatever. Well, I'm not there yet, but point I'm trying to make is that you got to make the most out of your life. Yeah, the mysteries of the universe are extremely obvious, actually. Yeah, it's true. It's, I mean, yeah, yeah it's obvious. You ask me any question, I'll, I'll answer you. Not trying to be someone who knows all, but I know a lot of things. Yeah. And while we are talking about that, right? No, we cannot know. We cannot know what dark matter is. There's no way. That's how the aliens have actually put that goddamn you know formula in there for us not to know and that's the nothingness you get you get you get my point so the nothingness holds us together 
because the nothingness is is the salvation I think of everything nothingness nothingness like yeah you know and the reason I'm saying that is yeah man you know you came here like Elon Musk or whatever right Jeff Bezos or whatever the fuck it is right and then you achieve you you made some fucking money and then all that and all this and all that right but then okay so I mean you are the smartest people on this fucking universe right on this goddamn planet then what then what, what's next nothing you know so and what's what's like what's like fucking everything people say oh everything oh we are together we gotta be together it's like the everything no 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 there's nothing together absolutely no togetherness you die alone all right so so with that thought am i going to like and my podcast to be this depressing thought of you die alone. Well, and so the question still remains a mystery. And I think I don't think it's a mystery anymore. I mean, I told you guys what dark matter is the nothingness that actually what manifests the matter. The 15% gets manifested by the 85% dark matter. So that's nothingness. And so with that thought, I think I'm going to close my podcast. I, uh, I presume you all had a great weekend. And I'll see you all next Sunday or Monday.